rapper is white, my wheels to blow. If I lose those wheels, my rep on the street will be dead. Pick up my car and take it over to the garage on St. Mark's, all right, yo? Let them defuse that. Let them take care of that bomb. The clock's ticking and the wiring is messed up. One pothole too many and that thing could blow. Now move it. talking about
A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Aris, we make high-quality footwear. In fact, you can find Aris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Aris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris running shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion. Top 100 self-help books in the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox. Why, thank you, that It's an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really should be put together. Okay, that's no. Actually, it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich with a different organ. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football or junk food. You get to explore your mind and your digestive system might as well. What you put in also comes out. Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Laszlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Laszlo. This is the way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes. No offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It, it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual life. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That low, closed mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you like wheatgrass, I think you'll really like it. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damn hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, oh, yeah. Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time. Do not get me angry. That's my karma. Definitely be bad for your karma. I studied the martial arts by the just like you, and I encourage everyone to out there on that Organic food and martial arts can help you. And I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or a booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phone. Final warning, do not make the point to Dragon Dance. Hello, caller, you are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. Why, thank you. I want to ask about chapter 29, yoga, not yogurt. I just can't give up tea.